We are continuing with our coverage from the world's largest mining convention, the PDAC, in Toronto. And joining me now is Kiko News' very own mining reporter, Alex Letourneau. Alex, thanks so much for being with me. Thanks for having me, Danny. So how's the show for you so far? It's going well. Talking to uh, a lot of mining companies, uh, CEOs. Spoke with Stephen Lang today from Santerra. Okay. He gave uh, an outlook of uh, 2012. Fantastic. Let's uh, check it out. All right, Steve, uh, talk to me about uh, Centera and where we're going, uh, where the company's going in 2012. In this year, a couple of things kind of important for us. First off, we we're looking for production of about 650,000 ounces. That's been fairly flat for us the last couple of years. I think particularly as we come out of the Mongolian elections, looking to get the approvals to get Gatsert finally moving. Once that happens, it'll take about two months for that to get into production, and that, that'll bring Mongolia back where it's historically been for us, the 150 to 200,000 ounces a year level, fairly important for us. Meanwhile, also continuing to advance at the underground at Kumtor, looking to get into ore there in the second quarter of next year, but obviously the advance on the declines are very important to make that happen. In Russia, going to continue to explore Karabeldir, same at ATO both into resource at the end of last year. At the end of this year, looking to move the same with Oxa, get an initial resource statement out on that. So that 2012 be a pretty busy year for us. You mentioned Kumtor. Uh, there was there was some problems uh, with a strike a few weeks ago. Uh, has everything been solved? Is, is everything resolved? Yeah, we're, we're back to work there. That really stemmed from a change in the taxation where there was a larger portion of the employees' wages that were taken out for the social fund contributions to the country and was trying to come up with an agreement, some, some kind of a mechanism that could uh, make that less painful for the employees. But back to work now and back in production. Uh, production was affected in uh, 2011 with uh, Boru um, dropping, I think, 45, uh, 47%. Has, uh, has the mine, is the mine expected to pick up uh, in 2012? No, about the same this year, 60,000 ounces. That's really kind of at the end of its mine life. Boros produced about a million and a half ounces since we opened it in 2004. Uh, there's still some resource and reserve left there, but really the focus for us is to get Gatsert online. We've got about a million and a half ounces there. And that will go over to the borrow mill for processing. So that, that really is the, the longer term focus is to get Gatsert running and then maintain that 10 year outlook through exploration in that region. Is uh, Centera going to keep a focus in uh, Central Asia or uh, is, it, is it more of a global? Are you looking more globally or is it uh, Central Asia that uh, you're going to focus on? I think Central Asia will be the place for us. Look, uh, we are not the size of company that are going to go in and compete with the very large companies, North and South America, Australia. We don't have the expertise, I don't think, the experience in Africa. Uh, Central Asia is where, where we operate, where our people are, where our suppliers are, and a lot of gold in Central Asia. So I think our exploration budget continuing to grow, it's in a very fertile area. Is it, uh, is it mining friendly in, uh, in Asia? Are there any issues or problems with, uh, with opening a mine, operating a mine? I think everywhere that's a challenge, but uh, if we look at Kumtor, where this year will be the 20th anniversary of our signing of the agreement there, and the Kyrgyz Republic's been through two revolutions in that time, numerous prime ministers, and yet the mine continues to produce, and we've, we've never had a disruption from any political uh, activity in the country. Perfect. Thank you very much for your time. Very much appreciated. Thank you. Alex, that was great. Thanks so much. Thank you. And thanks for watching Kitco News. You can email both of us at newsfeedback at kitco.com.